Welcome back to another episode of Tactical Pineapple Rides. Whew. It is a smoky one today, folks. Uh, it is upwards of 98 degrees where I am right now. My head is sweating. My everything is sweating. It is a minor miracle that I even appear dry right now and on either of these cameras. Um, it is not raining, folks, if by the end of this you see more moisture, it is because of the heat. Whew. It is a good day, though. I will say, uh, getting out now, leaving work, and hitting the road, I am very, very happy that I'm no longer stuck in a cubicle. I do enjoy air conditioning. I do enjoy the work that I do for the most part. Uh, I do not enjoy sitting inside on days like today knowing my motorcycle is sitting in the parking lot. Um, so enough of the whole bullshit chit chat when we get started. Um, today I kind of want to talk to you guys about you know, gun rights, gun control, and, and what it is that makes it such a hot button issue, right? We all know there's people on both sides of the aisle who own guns. Um, we also know that you can't be on the other side of the aisle and be a supporter of the Second Amendment. So I'm going to do the vroom vroom. We're going to come back on the other side of this, and we'll pick this conversation up where we are. All right, so Second Amendment, right? What, what, what does the Second Amendment mean to you, right? Uh, to me, obviously, it's a little different to me than it is to some others because I've lost my right to the Second Amendment before. Um, we've discussed this in the past. Um, it is something that really makes you appreciate things a little bit more. You know, the whole you don't know what you got till it's gone scenario. Um, that being said, I, I just, it's a miracle to me that we're here where we are in 2021 and we're having these conversations about, you know, common sense gun control on one side, but at the same time, they're 100% coming after your guns. Like they want, they don't want you to own or possess firearms. Now, I get it. You know, I've been watching these videos of all these lefties out here complaining and talking about it, you know, even back from March. So, I mean, we're in June now. Um, you go back just a couple months and everybody was talking about, oh, my God, we've had 110 mass shootings here in the United States of America. Well, yeah, that depends on your definition of mass shooting, though. Like, we... We keep comparing 110 mass shootings, you know, compared to 1992, right? Well, in 1992, they didn't track mass shootings. They checked mass casualty events. There's a big difference, right? So in order for it to be on the radar and as a mass casualty event or a mass shooting, you know, three or more people needed to die, not including the perpetrator. So <laughs> now... The definition of mass shooting is three or more individuals were injured, and that can include the jack wagon who's fucking taking uh, his own liberties to shoot individuals in the fucking head. All right, fuck, gotta get that air moving. Jeez, man, stuck at that stoplight for what seemed like an eternity. Anyways, we're back on it. We're back moving. The airflow is back at it. Things aren't roasting quite so hard again. Uh, anyways, you know, the, the mass casualty, like, definition, number one, changing from a mass casualty event to a mass shooting was something that nobody's even paying attention to. Nobody's even, like, registering that, right? Um, nobody's talking about it being a problem. That's a huge fucking problem, right? So if you're tracking things over the years and you change the definition of what that thing is, obviously the results are going to skew in the favor of whatever definition you change. So if you want to make it look like there are a lot more mass shootings, a lot more mass casualty events, you raise the number of individuals 
you change you change the definition, right? You raise the number of times that it happens based on the definition. Um, not saying that isn't horrible. You know, anytime one person dies from gun violence, uh, stupid gun violence nonetheless, um, it, it is absolutely horrifying, right? We don't like to see it. You know, the whole thoughts and prayers with everybody, you know, that goes out. That's the thing. Like, I get it. But, you know, the, I think the, the, the topic was brought up or it was said that, you know, since Christchurch, New Zealand, right? So 51 people died in Christchurch, New Zealand. They implemented gun control and gun bans and blah, 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 and horror, 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 horror. And since then, there have been zero mass casualty events, right? So, but they say it like that. There have been zero mass casualty events. All right, cool. Right, and then they're like, well, in the United States, since then, you know, 1,145 people have died of gun violence. All right? Let's eliminate suicides from that. Let's eliminate all the gang violence from it, right? Because gangs are gangs and criminals are going to get it anyways. Um, and, and what are we left with? I think after I looked at it, it was something like 700 people have died from gun violence that wasn't gang-related or related to suicide. Now, that's still a large number, right? I get it. But here's the thing. Let's look at this in perspective. So, everybody always goes, but New Zealand. But what about New Zealand? New Zealand has a fucking population as a country of about four and a half million people. I think maybe, you know, I think the last time, and I, I did look at this, and, and I'm off a little bit. It's a little, I'm a little low there. I think it's like 4.8 million people. So, Los Angeles County in California has that many fucking people. So, now let's look at that in perspective. How many people in Los Angeles have died from gun violence, not including suicides, and not including gun, gang violence, right? Well, that number is quite different, right? Hell, even if we just go based on per capita, you know, we have in the United States like 350 million people versus four and a half million people in New Zealand. They've had 51 people die in that time from, let's say, right before Christchurch to now in mass casualty gun violence. And we have had, take the number they keep pushing out there, it's like 1,145. So, we still have less death per million people than they do. Let that sink in, right? So per capita death. This is an actual measurement that people use. Yeah, so that's an actual measurement that people use is per capita, right? It's just, it's hard to believe that we're where we're at, is what people say. Well, yeah, well, we have a country that was founded by people who understood what it meant to keep liberty. How to actually stay free. The men who built this country built it using guns. When the fucking government that was opposing them came for the guns, they said, uh-uh, not today, fucko. Hold their shit and fucking went to war. Right? So the only reason a government has to restrict its population from owning or possessing firearms is the fact that they're about to do something that they don't want us to use the guns on them against. So... Let that sink in for a second, folks. The only reason 
our government has to take our guns is they're going to do something that they're worried we might use them to prevent. So, that being said, anyways, you know, in our in our communities, anytime anybody says anything in relationship to gun control, everybody freaks the fuck out, right? Uh, oh, I'm all for common sense gun control. That's probably going to get clipped and put on something, and I'm going to be called a fucking loser, you know, hack for that. That's not how I feel. The fact of the matter is, end of the day, the Second Amendment protects all the rest. Anybody who doesn't understand that at this point, you can't be helped. You probably voted for Biden and Harris. Um, your, your president is now a fucko in, in the way it is. Uh, totally different subject. You know, politics in and of itself, man. You know, I, I talk about politics. I'm not afraid to do it. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about the whole Facebook banning uh, Trump for two years? Some people say it's an arbitrary number. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to be a big deal. This and that, blah, blah, blah. But if you think about it, what they did is they prevented him from using that as a platform to promote his own, you know, election into a different seat. So, hear me out. So, let's say Trump doesn't run for president, right? Even if he does, you know, you can leave the president on the table. So, in a year, he runs for office in Florida, right? He's got residence at Mar-a-Lago. So, he runs for Senate in Florida. Grassroots movement, Florida's huge, he'll get it, right? So, he gets elected to the Senate in Florida, even worse to anybody because we're going to flip the Senate. There's no way we don't flip the Senate. If we don't flip the Senate and the House, it'll be a miracle. Um, can't cheat us this time type shit. Um, but if we flip the Senate, Trump gets elected in the Florida Senate. <laughs> he could legitimately become the Speaker of the House. Right? He could begin impeachment charges. or He could become the Speaker of the Senate. You know, the, the whatever. Uh, and he could begin impeachment charges against Kamala and fucking Biden, right? But even if he didn't do that, he's in there as Speaker of the House, pissing people off left and right for the next two years. And he could still run for president because there's nothing that says a newly elected, you know, Senate official can't run for office for president. Think about that. Let that sink in for a second. Trump keeps saying... We're going to be back before you think it, before you even think, right? Sooner than you think. Well, that leads me to believe he's thinking local, smaller, you know, get in there with that Senate seat, maybe a House seat if he can, but it makes more sense for him to go into the Senate based on who's running. So, <laughs> mark my words, it's going to be an interesting couple of years in America. I honestly don't know what happens, you know, from here. Everybody keeps saying, well, you know, the, the audits are coming, this and that. I don't know that the audits are going to change anything. I think there's too much speculation involved with the audits. They don't really prove what they want them to prove. It's more of a dog and pony show. It's pissing people off, which is great, fine, whatever. But it's wasting taxpayer dollars, too, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not a huge fan of all the government waste. Um... I'm not saying lay down and take it. I'm saying unless they come up with some really good shit, we're stuck with where, what we got, right? Um, they're not going to give it up easily. Um, they did a lot to steal it. They're not just going to give it back, right? So I don't know what that means for everybody, but to me, that means... They're fucked, right? It is what it is. So, anyways, guys, if you hung on to this, you know, hung on, stayed with us for this long, you guys are true rock stars. I appreciate you. Uh, until next time, I am going to cut it out here. Um, I want you guys, I'm going to remember it this time. Don't forget to go down in the comment section, give us a comment. 
Give us a thumbs up if we deserved it. Thumb us down if you think we're fucking assholes or we're stupid or whatever. We can take it. Uh, I got big, broad shoulders. I can handle a little bit of fucking feedback. And, uh, you know, subscribe, guys. Uh, every little bit helps us. Hit that ding bong, ding a little loud, on there. You know, the thing that tells you what the fuck to do. Uh, you know, notifications. That's the thing. Hit the notification bell. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. And until next time, folks, this has been Tactical Pineapple. Carry that motherfucker.